Very good morning, students. Hope you all be fine. Yesterday we have completed exercise 2.1, and we have continued towards our next topic that was classification of qualitative data. Qualitative data has numbers, but also has some attributes with it, and also guidelines for tabulation, uses of tabulation. Uh, how to draw a table? What are the things uh, necessary to require in the table? All such things were discussed yesterday. Now today we are going for exercise 2.2. One more thing, exercise 2.2 has five sums in it. After this exercise 2.2, we have in 2.3 graphs. So students, again I will say, after 2.2 there is 2.3. And 2.3 has graphs. So today itself, by a graph, we will do the graphs here, and you also will draw graphs at your home. And there is possible that there is little bit mistake. But first you draw, and when we will, when we will meet personally, then we will see the errors and we will see uh, what is the difference. And I will also send you the graph. Uh, I will also do the graph, and I will also send in the group that if you have any doubt, then you can uh, confirm that with that graph. Okay, friends. Uh, yes. And now we are starting our lecture with uh, two point two, which is given on page number forty two. Okay, friends. On page number forty two, exercise two point two, number one. There were 1,400 students studying in a commerce college. Among them, 855 were boys, and of them, 225 boys were in second year. In second year, the number of boys and number of girls are equal. Among the 550 students of the first year, the proportion of number of boys and girls is 3 is to 2. In the third year, the number of boys is 3 times the number of girls. Represent the above information in a table. When we have such type of question, then again, I will say that these types of questions, at least we should read two times. After reading two times, we will get 50% idea about the question. To have 50% extra, we need an after that how to represent. Very carefully. That things also we will see. Okay. Now I am reading the question again. There were 1,400 students studying in a commerce college. Among them, 855 were boys, and of them, 225 boys were in second year. In second year, the number of boys and number of girls are equal. Among 550 students of the first year, the proportion of number of boys and girls is 3 is to 2. In third year, the number of boys is 3 times the number of girls. Represent the above information in a table. Now, friends, what I was saying is that this is exercise 2.2. These types of sums carry three marks or four marks, three or four marks, depending on the length of the question. Uh, as you can see, fourth and fifth question are comparatively big, so they will carry four marks. Now, how these three or four marks will be distributed? Let me explain. First mark will be for writing the attributes. That how much types of attributes you can see? Males and females, girls and boys are not different attributes. Uh, not different attribute, but their attribute is gender. Most of you are making this mistake in the exam. Attributes to this question: girls and boys. Girls and boys are not their gender. Their gender. First year, year, first year, second year, third year. Then that is also a attribute. But you will write first year. 
second year, third year is a little bit no. So two attributes can be seen here that carries one marks which we will write. Normally in a question there will be two or three attributes, not four attributes, always there will be two or three attributes. Then after that you will write a heading, a appropriate title to that table. Then appropriate title also carries one mark. So one plus one, two marks and is also one mark. And if the question is little bit lengthy like fourth and fifth question then two marks for that table. Now, how to start the question? See, I am starting. There are two attributes column which are there. Now in the question it is written 1400 students studying in Commerce College where in the 
first line. Normally, the first line will give the information, 1400 students studying in the commerce college. Now, the third line, third line, you don't have to write this as line wise, just I am explaining. Uh, in your notebook, if you are writing, then sometimes in here also it can come. So, I am just showing what is written on the board. You don't have to write this is first line, second line, third line. I have just written this for your explanation. I, I, it was possible for me to write till that much also. But what I was uh, to need to explain that first line is about a fixed line. This line will come in each and every answer, table showing information about. Now this line will be given in the question. And at the last, always you should write according to why according to you have to denote the attributes in title also. According to what? According to gender and year of. Now the important thing which I need to say is about the column, rows and columns. Friends, how to uh, row these rows and columns and where to keep the gender vertically, horizontally? Where to keep year of study vertically, horizontally? So for that thing also, sorry, for that thing also, I will give a simple rule. Attribute gender has two types boys and girls. Attribute year of study has three types, first, second and third. Now, if we are having only two attributes, if we are having only two or maybe three attributes, uh, you see the subtypes which is having more. Here there are three subtypes, here there are two subtypes. So, here there are three. So, for the subtypes there which have more attributes, write it vertically and which are less show it horizontally this is the simple rule now what is the reason the more things are shown vertically and the less things are shown vertically is that sometimes you may not have space here but this space is unlimited okay but okay if you want then you can write year of study horizontally and male and female vertically also that is allowed but this is a simple rule to understand the thing which has more subtypes should be written vertically and less should be written horizontally and the totals also should be attached to it okay now as we have decided to write year of study vertically year of study and this will be like this and here we will have this Now, gender are boys, girls, and also it should be with total. Then year of study, first year, second year, third year, also there should be a so this is our formation. Think twice before drawing the lines that how your table will look. Okay? The table is ready. One marks for this, one marks for this, one marks for this, one plus one plus one is three marks. Okay? Yes. Friends, now what to do again? Attributes are written and again I need to explain that whenever you are writing the attributes, always see the more attributes are shown vertically and the less attributes are shown horizontally. Reason is simple. First year, second year, third year, then again total. So it will go in this way and in notebook sometimes there is a limitation of space and also in exam papers also and if you are writing in this way there is no limitation there is a whole page you are writing the new question in the new page so there is whole page so vertically the space limitation is not there but horizontally space limitation will come okay yes now how to fill the information uh, think twice before filling the information okay now first you fill such information which is directly given read the question again 
there were 1400 students studying in Commerce College. Total there are 1400 students. So whether right here, 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 because all these are numbers. So where to write? If we are writing here, then it is total boys. No. If we are writing here, then it is total girls. Then also not allowed. If we are writing here, then total students of first year. It is also not allowed. Total of second year. This is total of third year. But this total is grand total. Why grand total? It is total of boys and girls. Also, it is total of first, second, and third year students. So it should be written here. The number which is given in the title should always be written in the last. That is the grand total. Okay, understood friends? Now we are going. Among them, among 1400 students, 855 were boys. They are telling about boys. Now boys is this line. But they are not clear in their ear, so indirectly they are telling that there are total 855 boys. Don't write the thing, I know, we can get 1400 minus 855, we can get total girls also, but not now. Just now write the thing which is given in the book itself, no other thing. After that we will write what is the remaining, okay? So, among 1400 students, 855 are boys. Why I have written here? Because they are not clear in the year, first year, second year or third year. So, directly in the total boys. And of them, and again they are talking about boys, and of them 225 were in second year. Among 855, 225 boys were in second year, so boys and second year, so 225 will come here. Okay? In second year, now again they are talking about second year, the number of boys and girls are equal. We don't know how much there are girls, but they are telling that boys and girls are equal. If the boys are 225, the girls also will be 225. Why? Because they are equal. Okay, next. Among 550 students of the first year, they are telling the students of first year but not boys and girls, so there are total 550 students in the first year. Now what they are speaking that among 550 students of the first year, the proportion of boys and girls is 3 is to 2. Now how to solve this 3 is to 2? In standard 12 you will have such types of sums only. Distribute this much into 3 is to 2, so I am showing the calculation. Number of boys and girls of first year 550 is total boys girls they are in the ratio of 3 is to 2 now friends, how to find the number of boys and how to find the number of girls, it is easy. 550 into 3 by 5. How? Why I have written like this? And here, 550, little bit down. 550 into 3 by 5. 550 into 2 by 5. I think uh, most of you understand why I am writing like this because I want to find the number of boys and girls. Now to find there are total 550 students. Part of boys is 3. Oh, sorry, yes, yes, part of boys is 3, part of girls is 2. But this is in ratio form so it should have a proper denominator and the denominator is total of parts. 3 plus 2, 5. 3 plus 2, 5. Understood? So, if like this is given, then how to solve write the total both sides and multiply with their part, divide with their total part. Total part is 3 plus 2, 5. Now, 550 into 3 by 5 is 330. And 550 into 2 by 5 is 220. You may make the total. 330 plus 220 is 550. Okay? Yes. 330. Okay. In third year, number of boys is three times the number of girls, but we don't know the total. So we cannot say uh, three times and one times. 
so till this much information is given okay again we are seeing this same information and again we are understanding this sum there were 1400 students studying in commerce college total students so grand total 1400 students among them they are telling 855 are boys so among 1400 total boys After that they are writing, in second year, number of boys and girls are same. If the boys are 225, we know, girls will be also 225. Then in first year they are telling, total there are 550 students. They are in the ratio of 3 is to 2, so each will get 3 by 5 and 2 by 5 of total. So 550 into 3 by 5, 550 into 2 by 5, so 330 into 20. And lastly they are speaking, the, in the third year, the number of boys is 3 times the number of now we will find the missing figures. As I said previously, 1400 is the total number of boys and girls. So 1400 minus 855. 1400 minus 855 remaining there will be girls 545. If you want, you can do this round, otherwise, this is just for understanding. How you find the number of girls? 1400 were total. Minus 855, so 545. Again, how to what to find? 225 plus 225. So 450 are in this second. Okay. Now only this line is remaining, friends. Everyone knows how to find. In two ways we can find. See, total boys are 855. In that 330 are from first year, 220 are 25 are from second year. So subtract both, we will get 3. We will get 3. Again, in the same way, total there are 545 girls, minus 220, minus 225, 100 girls in the third year. And this, we can find by this way or total of both this, see, 1400 students in that 550 from first, 450 from second, so 400. And we can check it also, 300 plus 100 is 400. And again, the last time is followed or not followed, what they are speaking about in the third year. Number of boys is 3 times the number of girls. So girls are 100. Times means multiply. So 100 multiply by 3, 3. It is 4. Okay? So the table is completed. And again, if we need, we can check 330 plus 220 is 550. 225, 225, 450. 300, 100, 400. 855, 545, 1400. 550, 450, 400 is 1400. 220, 225, 100 is 545. 330, 225, 300 is 855. In any way you can check, it will be correct. Okay, so this was about the first. Now, you may look the sum. Now, going for the next sum. Second sum is somewhat difficult as the simple comparison is given. Okay, reading the second sum. Yes. <coughs> number 2 on same page number 42. 1600 employees are working in an office. Among these employees, the number of men exceeded the number of women by 15% of total number of employees. The number of unmarried employees are 800 less than the married employees. The number of unmarried women is 195. Represent the above data in suitable table. Okay. Again, I am reading. Listening. 1600 employees are working in office total there are 16 among these employees number of men exceeded the number of women by 15 percent but of what but of total total is 1600 take 15 percent of 1600 so you will get that thing so number of men are 15 percent more means 1600 15 percent we will do it in our calculator 
राइट इन योर कैलकुलेटर सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड मल्टीप्लाय फिफ्टीन एंड प्रेस परसेंटेज बटन सो टू फोर्टी हाउ टू डू राइट सिक्सटीन हंड्रेड इन योर कैलकुलेटर मल्टीप्लाय फिफ्टीन एंड प्रेस दिस बटन परसेंटेज सो टू फोर्टी डायरेक्टली सो मैन एक्सीडेड द वुमेन अगेन आई विल रीड दैट होल सेंटेंस एमोंग दिज एम्प्लॉयज The number of men exceeded number of women by 15 percent means 240. Men are 250 more than women. Okay? Yes. Okay. The number of unmarried employees is 800 less than the married employees. Again, they are comparing married and unmarried. There, they are comparing men and women. Number of unmarried women is 195. Represent the data in suitable table. Just now we have discussed. One comparison is about the men and women. And the next comparison is about married and unmarried. So there are two attributes. One is their gender. Next is their marital status. Marital status is married or unmarried. Okay. Yes. <coughs> so number two. There are. Two attributes gender. Here they are writing male and female. Instead, they are writing men and women. And then marital status. married and unmarried okay so for one mark we have written the attributes gender that is men and women marital status that is married and unmarried okay now again the title table showing information about about what Table showing information about what about in first line they are writing 1600 employees working in an office. 1600 employees working in an office. Now discuss the attributes. According to their, according to their what? Gender and marital status. Again, as I said, if you need, you can write this thing fixed. Table showing information about about what the first line in the question. Sixteen hundred employees working in an office. See this thing. If you if you want, I can. This is a trick to remember. This thing in every question, write as it is. Now this. Thing after the sentence, what we are writing, the first sentence of the question itself, 1600 employees working in an office. After that, according to in every question, according to there in every question, according to their marital status and gender. Okay. Now we have to decide vertically and horizontally. Now, friends, as I said, see the attributes, three or two or four, but both are having two two attributes. If there are three and there are two, then we know. Vertically three and horizontally two, but here the thing is that both are having same attribute. So what should we do? Gender vertically, marital status horizontally. And if opposite you want marital status vertically, gender horizontally, then also it is enough. Okay, but I am writing in this way. Both are enough. Oh sorry, I have said gender here. Gender I am showing vertically and marital status horizontally. Marital status. Yes. Men, women, total. Married 
unmarried total. If you want, you can write married and married total here and male, men, women total there also. But what I said, uh, here there are both are having two, two attributes. So the first will be written vertically, the next will be written horizontally. Okay. Table is ready? Yes. Now, according to the information, filter the things. Okay. 1600 employees are working in an office. The thing which is in heading, write in the last. Grand total 1600. Okay? Yes. 1600 employees are working in an office. Now, among them, these employees. They are not talking about married and unmarried, they are just talking about men and women. What they are talking about, again, I am repeating for each and everyone, please listen carefully the sentence. If you don't know to write here or here or in the between, there will be very much confusion. Read the question again. Among these employees, the number of men exceeded the number of women. Total number of men and women they are talking. Total number of men means here. Total number of women means here. What they are telling? Number of men. Number of men. Total number of men exceeded total number of women by 15% of total employees. So they are talking about these two columns. So sometimes you may get confusion that to write here or to write here. But what they are talking about? men and women so yeah. so now this thing is to be solved okay now there will be two or three calculations so i am giving the numbers calculation number one for total number of men and women for what we are doing calculation for total number of men and women now we are writing the sentence which is given. Men exceeded women by 15% of total employees. Men exceeded women by 15% of total employees, not women or men. Total employees means 16. Now, how to show it mathematically? That is very important. That is very important thing. So, men is exceeding the women. So, men are more than women. So, first you suppose, suppose number of women is equals to x. When we are solving such sums in mathematics, what to suppose the thing which is to be compared? Here women are compared with the men, so men are exceeding. So don't suppose men, suppose women. Okay? So men is exceeding, so we should something we should add to the men for from the women. So suppose women as x. Thus number of men is equal to x plus. 1600 into 15 percentage. Why number of men is x plus 1600 into 15 percent? The reason is this. Men exceeded the woman. Woman is x. How exceeded? Exceeded means plus. By 15 percent of total. Total there are 1600 employees and 15 percent of that. 1600 is total and 15 percent of that. So again find it x plus 240 okay now the number of men is 240 now we have to find the x for x men plus women is equals to total men is x plus 240 plus women is x total is 16 men we have found x plus 
plus 240, women be found as x and total is 1600. So x plus x is 2x plus 240 is equals to 1600. 2x is equals to 1600 minus 240. This plus 240 will be transferred to the next side. 2x is equals to 1600 minus 240 is 1360 and thus x is equals to 1360 upon 2 thus x is equals to 680 number of women x is equals to 680 number of men x plus 240 680 plus 240 920 once more we are going to repeat this thing what they are writing for total number of men and women we need to find men exceeded women by 15% of total employees by what? by 15% of total employees so men are more, women are less so suppose women is x so the men will be x plus in brackets 1600 into 15 percentage why because total is 15 percent so total is 1600 multiply 15 percent so x plus 240 now for x we need men plus women is equals to total x plus 240 is men x is women 1600 we have solved it mathematically then number of women is 680 number of men is 920 now we may write it 926 and both total is 16. Yes, so this much is complete. Next. The number of unmarried employees are 800 less than the number of married employees. They are talking about married and unmarried employees. First they were talking about total men and total women, then they are talking about total married and total unmarried. Now what they are telling, please listen, the number of unmarried employees are 800 less than the married employees. Okay, now I am rubbing this thing, I will show you here. Second calculation for Total number of married and unmarried for total number of married and unmarried. Now what comparison is given? Unmarried employees are 800 less than many employees compare this sentence with this men is exceeding so we are not supposing men we are supposing women unmarried are 800 less so we are not supposing unmarried we are supposing married the thing which is given in second place should be as you see second place here married and here second place women is given so always suppose that is this is the simple rule of maths always suppose the second thing don't suppose the first thing so suppose number of married employees is equals to x therefore number of unmarried employees see married are x unmarried are 800 less x it means plus less means minus so x minus 8 now again for x
married plus unmarried is equals to total married is x plus x minus 800 see here plus so i am not keeping in the brackets and will not change is equals to 1600 2x minus 800 is equals to 1600 2x is equals to 1600 plus 800 2x is equals to 2400 x is equals to 2400 upon 2 x is equals to 1200 Always suppose the second thing Here we have second thing as married Here the second thing is women Okay So x is to, uh, 1200 So married employees are 1200 Unmarried are 1200 minus 800 is 400 Now I have no space to write I will write it up and write it here Okay So after here I am writing there Number of married employees is equals to x is equals to 1200 Number of unmarried employees is equals to x minus 800 1200 minus 800 400 Okay So married 1200 Unmarried 400 And we can see the difference of both is 800 How we have done for total number of married and unmarried What uh, information is given in your book Unmarried employees are 800 less than married So at the second place it is married So suppose married as x Unmarried are 800 less So x minus 800 To find x Married and unmarried are total x plus x minus 800 is 1600 We have solved and obtained 1200 Now married are 1200 Unmarried are 800 less So 400 1200 plus 400 is 1600 Okay and finally the number of unmarried women is 195 Women, unmarried, 195 This much information is being provided to us These we have found using mathematical formula These both also we have found using mathematical formula And now we are talking about women and unmarried 195 Now the remaining things we can find Very easy Total unmarried are 400 195 are women So 205 will be men Now 920 are total men 205 are unmarried So 715 is men 680 there are total women 195 are unmarried So 485 are men Also check the total 715 plus 485 is 1200 205 plus 195 is 400 920 plus 680 is 1600 715 plus 205 is 920 485 plus 195 is 680 1200 plus 400 is 1600 Everything horizontally and vertically must be checked So that we can uh, say that our calculation is correct Ok friends, so these were about the sums having two attributes Now we are having the sum for three attributes that we will do tomorrow Ok, so that's all for today Thank you so much